Oh, we managed to get out of this. I'm sleeping on a bed of titties. I don't care what it fucking costs. They gone? Yeah, yeah, man, they done. I knew we could pull it off. I knew it. We're rich. Fuck. <laughs> I'm robbing people with a six gun. I needed money cause I'm hitting none. I fought the law, and the law can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fought the law, and the law lost. <laughs> How much is it? A little over two million dollars. <gasps> per split. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother of God. Once everything's settled up, I'm calling the man I know, having him bring over three hookers. Boy, ain't All no right. hooker ever stepping foot in this house. You sure? Because two of them are for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be fucking in my new drifter. I'd appreciate that. You know, my entire life, there's always been someone standing over me, telling me, where I could go, what I could do, who I could be seen with. This. What you boys did tonight. This changes everything. This isn't just money. It's freedom. Real freedom. Ain't no one standing over me again. <laughs> over any of us. Vouloir c'est pouvoir, eh? Vouloir c'est pouvoir! Well, well, well. Oh, man, man himself. Look at the man is. Oh. And look at what I dug up. You mind pouring one more of those? Holy <laughs> shit. It'll be my pleasure. Judge, he told me ship went sideways during the robbery. Lincoln had to save your ass. You should be damn proud of that, boy. I am, Sal. More than you'll ever know. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that is some down-home hooch right there, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, I got a guy outside. You don't mind if he comes in and packs up my cut? Not at all. Look at that. Let's see if you can handle this down-home hooch. Yeah, why don't you give me some of that? Trying to get some corn whiskey? Make you a man. <laughs> they all the same. <laughs> hey, take the one on the end. It's your cut. Plus what I owe you. Even put in a little extra for your trouble. Couldn't have pulled it off without you, Sammy. You all done right by me tonight. Mwah. Mwah. Why don't you get us something off the top shelf? We need to celebrate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> yeah. hey, fill me up. All right. uh, know what something, Lincoln? You. You're possibly the baddest motherfucker I ever laid my eyes on. She shouldn't have said no. When I was pulling Lincoln out of the fire, he woke up long enough to tell me to call John Donovan. So that's what I did. Most days I wish I'd never made that call. Mr. Donovan, do you know this individual? Sure. 
Sal Marcano. Mm -hmm. And how about this man? That's Sal's worthless piece of shit, brother Lou. Look, enough of the dog and pony bullshit. What's your real question? Did you help Lincoln Clay murder Sal Marcano and all prominent members of his crime family? You're goddamn right I did. So those the men you're gonna kill, huh? That's the plan, Padre. This is a dangerous course you're contemplating. And what do you think we should do? Sal Marcano deserves to die. I won't argue otherwise. Kill him. But let that be the end of it. That's not enough! It's enough if you say it's enough. I know what Sal did to you, Lincoln. But nothing you do will bring any of them back. This isn't about bringing them back. Or even exacting some street justice. It's about making that bastard feel what it's like to lose everything. Watch as I take it all away from him. one-way road, Lincoln. And once you start down it, there ain't no turning back. I'm going to Sammy's to get my stuff. You ready? I'll be waiting. Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you grab an XM21, smear on some face paint, and they...
The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you every time. Sure you don't need a ride? Nah, man, I'm good. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready. To do. I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea here. Yeah. The pocket of this old white man used to come around here raising him. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, you go no, but you're not. You never will be. Son Ellis and 
his adopted boy, Lincoln Clay. He did everything he could to support our community through his benevolent society. If someone couldn't quite make the rent, needed medicine, diapers, couldn't... You weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Haitians? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. fun deal with any two adult plates or kids plates are free and grown-ups friday and saturday night take your receipts over to big mouse for half off your first drink order only in the french ward They're flying James L. Ray Hi. back this week. How you doing? Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. Where have you it's been? too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Hey there, brown sugar. You sure looking sweet today. <laughs> you go to hell. In three years, man, and I still can't shake her. She was my first. This March 19. Sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. 
for true. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. This is dead street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? Fight, fight, fighting for freedom. Fute, freedom don't mean shit without power. Comprends? Yeah. Huh? You're not allowed back. Maybe you've been now. Dead. Him off me. Things just that easy. First one of all of us, brother. And there ain't been one like her since. Oops. Goddamn beautiful woman. Fell up to that point, the only other black woman I see naked was the time I walked in on your sister coming out of the shower. <laughs> Take them apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, we just take You're a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For two. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Biscuit dead street from the start. Huh? You're not welcome here. Killed him. Rush was going to shotgun die. Run as fast as you can. Come and get me, Cochon. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother.
last mouth who wants I don't know, brother. On one hand, she's the most beautiful black woman I have ever seen. On the other hand, listening to Elvis Presley is the only thing that gets her eye. Just doesn't seem right. Well, that is until she takes her clothes off. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled you I did. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have to holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That, that's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find it? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church.
You spot anything you can use. Let me see what you got. Jackie? What the hell? Why are you driving around in a truck? What happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. First time I took a lady who become my wife out for a drink, I thought I'm giving her the silent treatment. Truth is, I never met a girl so pretty and it was like my tongue wanted to hide at the back of my mouth. God wouldn't give us more burden than we can carry. He knows our struggle. You know it. Thank you. You were sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. You see the this to bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me.
the fuck up. Comes on, takes on the whole goddamn station. Now I gotta listen to nigga music, hippie music, all kinds of bullshit. Could always turn it off. But it's my goddamn radio, not some mystery nigga radio. Sandra at the pierced heart. She'll help. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank, thank you.
a stroke. Lord, Get out of please. Here. This old world is going to hell. <laughs> I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one. That Cassandra really buffaloed you, didn't she? Fucking lunatics. Every last one of them. Sal's everything wrong with this little twisted corner of the country you have here. A grubby fuck who thinks he can buy a name for himself. is on sale all week long. Two balls for the price of one. When it comes to meat, mine can't be beat. Come on down. Hey! What? Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club.
Parade. Oops. What is ain't a place for? Just shut it! Check that last spot. Don't keep looking for you, boy. Got him, too. This fucker. Sucker. We get spread out. Bro. Get over. Ready to hit him. He's taking. Watching your back out there? Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau.
can't believe one of those jigaboo motherfuckers is back to me. Are you waiting in your car? Oh. Zane, can you show fine? Everybody run! The blood of Jesus protects me, motherfucker!
Where is this? Going to cover. Bam. Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. <sighs> that heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those.